Hello, my dear students, and welcome to this week overview. During this week, we're going to talk about properties of mechanical waves. Firstly, we're going to start talking about frequency and period. What determines the frequency of a wave? Any periodic motion has a frequency, which is the number of complete cycles in a given time. A wave's frequency equals the frequency of the vibrating source producing the wave. Any motion that repeats at regular time intervals is called periodic motion. The time required for one cycle is called the period. Frequency is the number of complete cycles in a given time. Frequency is measured in cycles per unit or per second, which is hertz. So for example, this figure right here, which is figure A, we have frequency 1 hertz, 1 cycle per second. A wave vibrating at 1 cycle per second has a frequency of 1 hertz. While here, picture B, a wave vibrating at 2 cycles per second has a frequency of 2 hertz. So you can see here that those are two waves, and this is here one wave. Wavelength. How are frequency and wavelength related? Wavelength is the distance between a point on one wave and the same point on the next cycle of the wave. Increasing the frequency of a wave decreases its wavelength. For a transverse wave, wavelength is measured between adjacent crests or between adjacent troughs. For a longitudinal wave, Wavelength is the distance between adjacent com compressions or re refractions. So, wavelength can be measured from any point on a wave to the same point on the next cycle of the wave. So, for example, here I have two consecutive crests. This is the long wavelength, and this is here a short wavelength. It is the same distance so between two consecutive crests or two consecutive troughs. are frequency, wavelength, and speed related. If you assume that waves are traveling at a constant speed, then wavelength is inversely proportional to frequency. When the wavelength is in meters and the frequency is in hertz, the unit for speed are meter per second. The speed of a wave is also calculated by dividing its wavelength by its period. So speed equals wavelength times frequency. Speed of mechanical waves. One end of a rope is vibrated to produce a wave with a wavelength of 0.25 meter. The frequency of the wave is 3 hertz. What is the speed of the wave? So what we're going to do, we are going to understand what is the information that is given to us. So what's given to us is wavelength equals 0.25 meter, while frequency equals 3 hertz. Now, what unknown are trying to calculate, which is the speed, and we have a formula that says the speed equals wavelength times frequency. Once we substitute those into the wavelength and the frequency, we're going to have the speed. So speed equals, this is the wavelength, 0.25 meter, time, this is the hertz, which is the frequency. So speed equals 0.75 meter per second. 